Hey guys, so today I have something a little bit different for you. Today I'm going to be showing you how I organize my closet to try to maximize the space in my room. I do live in an apartment as I'm sure most of you guys watching live in an apartment or maybe just close quarters or maybe you have to share a room or just you are a retail addict and you just keep buying clothes even though you can't find any room for them. So for those of you guys that don't know, I've worked in retail for eight years now. So I have uh, accumulated a lot of clothes and while I do always try to Marie Kondo my closet once every couple months to keep things bringing me joy, I still have a lot of clothes and a pretty small room. For an apartment, it's pretty okay sized, um, but I don't have a dresser in here. And if I had a dresser in here, it, there would be literally no room, especially since I do have my like filming set up here. So I have to fit everything in my closet. Now I will say I have a couple bins under my bed with like my workout clothes, my PJs, and any t-shirts that I don't necessarily wear, but I want to keep because they're sentimental. But other than that, every other piece of clothing is in my closet right here. So I'm gonna roll you through, kind of show you some ideas. I did just reorganize this last night, so there's a chance that I will probably like tweak it and mix it up over time as I always tend to do. I'm an organization freak, so I love organizing and reorganizing and reorganizing. But this is how I have it right now and I really like it, so I figured I would show you guys my closet. So let's just get into it. Okay, so it's kind of a bad angle, let's see. But it's kind of hard to see because this is like the corner of my room. But we're gonna start with this side of my closet. Now above here, I have all of my shoes and this goes on to the other side. Okay, well not all of my shoes. I have my like casual shoes down on the floor here. So like my, just like my Vans and my Converse and the ones that I reach for a lot. But these are all of my like fashion statement shoes. So like my chunky sneakers, my Fila's, and then my like Timberlands are up here and then on the other side I'll show you are more of my like going out shoes. And then I have two hang bars in here. So this first top one is the one that came installed like when I came into the apartment. And then I actually just installed another hang bar right down here so that I can double up and layer. I have so many, I wear like everything cropped. So everything on the top bar is everything that is cropped and everything on the bottom bar is everything that is full length. So my full length t-shirts, sweaters, and even some like dresses and stuff. I vacuum in here so I don't really mind if my dresses touch the floor because um, it's just carpet down there so it doesn't really matter. Um, but I just got this hang bar from Target. It was pretty easy to install. Um, it would it would have been helpful if I had a drill, but I just did it with a screwdriver, and it was really really easy. I just measured about what height I wanted at, wanted it at with a tape measure, marked the um, marked the height on each side, and then drilled the holes and popped it in. It was really really easy. And being that I work in retail, I'm obsessed with things on hang bars. I think it's pretty easy to organize. So we're gonna zoom you in a little bit here. So basically, how I organized it, first I have my bodysuits on hangers. Now to maximize the amount of things that I can put on hangers, I literally will hang multiple items on one hanger. So I'll just loop them both onto the thing and then I have them color coordinated as well. So like my light and colorful ones and then all my black bodysuits here. So I have just my bodysuits at the very front. I try to organize it from like least amount of fabric to most amount of fabric. So like. Body suits, tank tops, tube tops, crop tops, crop tees, collared shirts, long sleeve collared shirts, and then cropped hoodies is kind of how it's organized. So I have all of my tube tops on a little pant hanger and I just clip them all together again to save hangers. And before that, I just have my plain camis, again, all on multiple, or multiple ones on hangers as well. I guess I could put those down there. That would probably make more sense for those to go down there because those are all full length. But I wear a lot of these like tied up and cropped, so that's just kind of how I prefer it, but it's all just up to you. Then I have tiny tank tops. Any tank top that I have that is small and cropped is going to be next. Then I have my baby doll tees. So again, any like cropped kind of short sleeve t-shirts that are more fitted. And then I have all of my cropped t-shirts. Now I organize it by color. So I have, so I have my white ones, 
and then any colorful ones, which I don't have very many colorful ones, as you guys know, I'm obsessed with black. And then it goes into gray, and then all of my black cropped t-shirts are next. Then it goes into all of my cropped polos and like little cropped button ups. And then keeping with the polos but long sleeve, anything that I have that is collared and long sleeve, again, going from least amount of fabric to most amount of fabric. And then we have our cropped hoodies. So again, all by color and kind of style and everything cropped on the first row. Now this is kind of a weird angle, but down here I have all of my t-shirts. I have everything full size. So I have all of my t-shirts. Again, just full length t-shirts that are all organized by color. So I guess it should go white and then white gray and then gray and then black. Oops. But I have all of my t-shirts here. So all of these are t-shirts and then and then it goes into my long sleeves, long sleeve sweaters, and then my flannels as well. Just anything that's lightweight and long sleeve. And it goes into my full length hoodies, again, organized by color. Then it goes into all of my jackets. So the heaviest weight ones, or the lightest weight ones, into the heaviest weight ones. And then the last thing are my long sweaters and dresses. I barely own any, like, fashion sweaters or dresses because I'm just that casual bitch. So that's how that kind of goes. And then again, on the floor down here, I just have my casual shoes that I reach for every day so that way I can just grab it out and pop them on. All right, and then this is the other side of my closet. So up here I have more of my like going out shoes. So like my chunky heels and my boots and things like that. Anything that's a little bit, you know, more fancy, more going out, I will keep up there. And then in here I have all of my pants and then I have all of my skirts hanging on, on this section of this hang bar right here. So again, I have doubled item up, items up on hangers so that I can maximize my hanger space. Any of my like fashion skirts or like shorts that I wear often go right here. And then right here I have all of my pants. These are cubbies that I got from Amazon. They actually used to be full length. And what I had was I had my sweaters folded here, pants, and then there was another cubby, and then there were cubbies for shoes all the way down. I just cut off the section. These are really old anyways, but these were super cheap on Amazon. And I have it all organized here. So I have my light wash jeans here, my black jeans here, and then all of my like cargo pants here. So like my Rothko's and my like skater pants, things like that. And then I have all joggers here, joggers and like my casual sweatpants, like my champion and my Adidas sweatpants. So that is how that goes. And then again, cubbies are just from Amazon that I just cut to make a little bit shorter. And then in the bottom portion, I just have these li this little like Sterilite drawer system. These are just from Walmart. You can get them at Target. You can get them anywhere. And then I have my undies, my socks, and then my bras and swimsuits and lingerie and things like that. So I do have them like Marie Kondo organized because I am that bitch. Um, so again, undies, socks, and uh, bras, you know, all the essentials. And then all of my purses and sling bags are sitting on top. I always put like packing paper in my purses to keep the shape nice. And then I have my kind of casual sling bag sitting back there, like that green one back there. And yeah, and then it's kind of hard to see, but right, right here, I have all of my overalls hung up on pant hangers and they kind of hang into this bucket. And in this bucket, I have all of my beanies. So all of my beanies and all of my dad hats. So any hat, any beanie goes in here. I do keep a couple hats on the back of my door, the ones that I reach for the most, but in here, oops, come on. I just kind of hang them and then they kind of sit and hang in the bucket because they're long. But okay, having them hang in the bucket makes it look a little bit tidier. Okay, and then like I said, for things like PJs and workout clothes and just those like the things that you need to keep somewhere but you don't necessarily need to like present, I have two bins that go under my bed and one is full of all of my t-shirts that again, I don't wear a lot but I want to keep because they're from certain events or just like 
you know, I just have emotional attachment to t-shirts and then all of my like PJs and stuff like that I keep in there so that way I can just slide the bins out when I'm ready to get to, like get ready for bed, pop some PJs on, put my clothes away and then slide the drawers down. But other than that, that is where I keep all of my clothes and this is my closet. I'm really proud of how it's organized right now. Um, let me know if you guys want to see more organizational videos. I do have a few organizational organizational videos about my makeup collection. None that are super recent, but if you just want ideas, if you have a ton of makeup and not a ton of space, um, you can always check those out to get more ideas. But that's it, you guys. That's my closet. That's how I organize it, kind of closet tour. Um, so let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!